What would happen if the US F-15 Eagle fought China's J-10? The Air Force is revving up for electronic warfare upgrades for its F-15 fighter as a way to better protect against enemy fire and electronic attacks, service officials said. A combined U.S. Air Force and Boeing flight test team just wrapped up nearly five years of rigorous testing on the advanced F-15. They tested the aircraft systems and flight controls in Palmdale, California. More than 15,000 test points were covered to assure safety, quality, and performance. Take my word. It's not your father's F-15, said Matt Gleese, Boeing test and evaluation chief F-15 test pilot. This jet has capabilities like we've never seen before. Capabilities like a fly-by-wire control system for greater maneuverability and angles of attack, arguably the world's fastest fighter mission computer able to process 87 billion instructions per second, and expanded weapons carriage, that can bring up to 12 missiles and assorted munitions on a single aircraft into the flight. Integrating advanced technologies has made this unbeaten platform contemporary and future ready, said Pratt Kumar, vice president and program manager, Boeing F-15 programs. The advanced F-15 remains ahead of threats now and into the future, making the Eagle an enduring attack air platform. Overall, the U.S. Air Force is vigorously upgrading the 1980s-era F-15 fighter by giving new weapons and sensors in the hope of maintaining air-to-air -air superiority over the Chinese J-10 equivalent. The multi-pronged effort not only includes the current edition of electronic warfare technology, but also extends to super-fast high-speed computers, infrared search and track enemy targeting systems, increased networking ability and upgraded weapons firing capability, Air Force and Boeing officials said. The Air Force plans to keep the F-15 fleet in service until the mid-2040s. Many of the F-15 systems date back to the 1970s and must be upgraded if the Air Force is to remain operationally effective. Various upgrades will be complete as early as 2021 for the F-15C ASA, active electronically scanned array radar and as late as 2032 for the various EW electronic warfare upgrades, an Air Force spokesperson told U.S. Military News Channel. The Air Force currently operates roughly 400 F-15 C, D, and E variants. A key impetus for the upgrade was well articulated in a congressional report on the U.S. and China in 2014. U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission among other things, the report cited rapid Chinese technological progress and explained that the U.S. margin of superiority has massively decreased since the 1980s. As an example, the report said that in the 1980s, the U.S. F-15 was vastly superior to the Chinese equivalent, the J-10. However, Chinese technical advances in recent years have considerably narrowed that gap to the point where the Chinese J-10 is now roughly comparable to the U.S. F-15, the report explained. Air Force and Boeing developers maintain that ongoing upgrades to the F-15 will ensure that this equivalence is not the case and that, instead, they will ensure the superiority of the F-15. Among the upgrades is an ongoing effort to equip the F-15 with the fastest jet computer processor in the world. Called the Advanced Display Core Processor, it's capable of processing 87 billion instructions per second of computing throughput, translating into faster and more reliable mission processing capability for the aircrew. The increased processing capability is critical to new advanced capabilities such as Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System, EPAWS, Long Range Infrared Search and Track Capability, ERST, High Speed Radar Communications and Future Software Suite Upgrades. Advanced Display Core Processor brings next generation high speed computing to the F-15, said Lieutenant Colonel Michael Casey, vice commander of the 80th Flying Training Wing at Shepard Air Force Base in Texas. This capability allows pilots to prosecute targets with ironclad precision and sets the foundation for future growth. The system can simultaneously track multiple targets and provide a highly effective air-to-air -air targeting capability even when encountering advanced threats equipped with radar jamming technology, Navy officials said. 
Erst also provides an alternate air-to-air targeting system in a high-threat electronic attack environment, Navy, Air Force, and industry developers said. The F-15 is also being engineered for additional speed and range, along with weapons firing ability. The weapons carrying ability is being increased from 8 up to 16 weapons. This includes an ability to fire an AIM-9X or AIM-120 missile. In addition, upgrades to the aircraft include adding an increased ability to integrate or accommodate new emerging weapon systems as they become available. This is being done through both hardware and software-oriented open standards, IP protocol, and architecture. The aircraft is also getting a fly-by-wire automated flight control system. Fly-by-wire means when the pilot provides the input straight to a computer that then determines how to have the aircraft perform the way it wants, provides electrical signals for the more quickly and more safely move from point to point as opposed to using a mechanical control stick, Mike Gibbons, system safety engineer at Boeing Defense Space and Security. Along with these weapons upgrades and other modifications, the F-15 is also getting upgrades to the pilot's digital helmet and some radar signature reducing or stealthy characteristics. However, at the same time, the F-15 is not a stealthy aircraft and is expected to be used in combat environments in what is called less contested environments, where the Air Force already has a margin of air superiority over advanced enemy air defenses. For this reason, the F-15 will also be increasingly networked so as to better support existing fifth-generation platforms such as the F-22 and F-35, Air Force officials said. The intent of these F-15 upgrades is to effectively perform the missions assigned to the F-15 fleet, which are to support the F-22 in providing air superiority and the F-35 in providing precision attack capabilities. While these upgrades will not make these aircraft equivalent to fifth-generation fighters, they will allow the F-15 to support fifth-generation fighters in performing their missions and will also allow F-15s to assume missions in more permissive environments where capabilities of fifth-generation fighters are not required. Gibbons added that the upgrades to the F-15 will ensure that the fighter aircraft remains superior to its Chinese equivalent. The F-15 is a vital platform that still has a capability that can't be matched in terms of ability to fly high, fly fast, go very far, and carry a lot. It's an air dominance machine, Gibbons explained.